Good morning, evening, afternoon. I'm Tato Cat. Welcome to my channel. Today we are playing Pot. That's right. I'm not even going to say the rest of that. Hmm. Previously, it did not get very far. There's been a lot of talking in this trial and not a lot of doing stuff in this trial. Um, so yeah, let's get to doing stuff. Also, my throat has not been great, so I've not been recording very often. So, um, I will not be doing my usual voices. I'm just going to be using my regular voice. Edgeworth. I always believe in Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the inquiry committee now, right? They're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today. Because it can't possibly be the police. I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case. The DL... Almost a DL6. Not that one. We did that one. We solved that. The SL9 incident, of course. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about their case. This case. The case. Evidence lockers. This place is more high-tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed to that only one detective can open it. Using their ID card? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, I'm on my third card since entering the force already. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know how long he's been in the force. That sounds like a lot. Yeah. But even I can't lose my own hand. My own right hand. Well. Someone can always cut that off. Right hand? Oh, you mean your fingerprints. Exactly, pal. They lock for each locker... The lock for each locker is coated with fingerprints. Okay. Do they all make that wonderfully annoying noise? So the only locker we can open is our own. Honey, they look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to the handles, see? The handles? On the other side of the handle, as a sensor, and if it's the wrong person touches it, bzzz, you get a shock? If that's what happened, my hand would be black and smoking every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. Wait, does that mean you often try to open other people's lockers? Do you not remember which locker is your own? That's concerning. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people on the force that don't know about the fingerprints, the fingerprint locks. Evidence locker. Only the assigned detectives prints can unlock the Unlock it. Indicator lamp lights up when it opens. Okay. Um. Uh. I'm gonna show you some stuff. See if you respond to any of it. Um. I have, like, new stuff. So, I'm going to show you. Um. Do you know anything about this? I think I already showed him that once, and I think he didn't respond to it. Um, what new stuff do I have? Uh, lost item reports. Uh, this one. 
Do you know anything about this? Allow me to say one thing, speaking as a detective. If I see a piece of evidence and I know nothing about it, I say nothing. Nothing. That's fine. Get it? Okay. Did I not show him the... Uh, maybe I'll show it to him. Okay, um, ID card? No, I didn't show it to him. I'm trying to show him things related like Goodman, maybe? Maybe he knows about Goodman because they're both like detectives or something. And I haven't really had an opportunity to talk to him. Uh, so he might say something new about stuff. And then, oh, this one. Could you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Ah, I heard the rumors. So it was Goodman who- Whoa! What is it? The, 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 the second number. It's not your ID number. Is the detective come to you? Mr. Edgeworth. What? The second number on this list is detect is belongs to Mr. Edgeworth, not Detective Edgeworth. What? 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 Man, Edgeworth, damn it! ID card record. IDs of all who entered the evidence room. On 221. ID card record updated in the. Yeah. Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? I don't know. Um, maybe this note means something since he's been in the evidence room and this has something to do with stuff in the evidence room. Detective Goodman's note. And that switchblade knife. I bet Mr. Edgeworth was the most surprised of anyone. Because the SL9 connection? That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know? Two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But why would evidence from that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. Okay, um... I can't think of anything else to show him. Here's a new thing. The SL96 and SL96. I keep wanting to say DL6. Now that was a bloody violent case. Violent. So it was a murder? A serial killing. A serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake and Mr. Edgeworth built his case around that to nab him. And this was two years ago? That put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight and started the rumor mill. Rumors. About forged evidence. Really, it wasn't the whole Van Karma thing. It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transferal the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. Huh? What do you mean? Detective Goodman was the detective in charge of the SL9 incident. See? So, so the switchblade knife, the victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself? Hmm. Huh. Alright, well, 
I'm gonna look at stuff. I have to click on all the things. There's something sticking out of here. Looks like it's a shirt. I guess it must be evidence or some case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe put his, put this there. There you go, pal. Assuming, uh, <laughs> assuming, making me out to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, I bet the evidence locker was re recent opened recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I had him breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot too. I bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under that trench coat either. If you're going to talk behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of them, pal. Well, we're just talking to your face then. You know, if you can't say something behind someone's back to their face, then you shouldn't be saying it at all. This place is stuffed with evidence. Stuffed with dreams. I'm not so sure about the dreams. Moof. Did you not remember the thing about what we just said? It was open. It was It won't open. Did you really think it would? Yep, it's high tech. We, we went over that. What about this? Wow, look! At this big pile of junk in the corner. That looks like a car door. There's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame. Maybe the guy they caught was at was some sort of escape artist and he got away. Hey, that's one of those human profiles for range testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Better him than us. Some sort of equipment, gathering dust. Oh, is this is okay. This is the fishing pool. That's the thing. Yeah, I don't see how any of that's important. And what? What is that? Mm hmm. I don't think I've seen this one before. Oh, that's a bug sweeper. A oh, oh! I was like like a vacuum for bugs but something to look for bugs i get it i'm sure it'll come in handy in solving some case sooner or later that cheap looking box you can't judge a person or a machine by their cover you gotta look at their heart okay if you say so not the button I meant to push. Nope. Oh, well, this looks promising. Oh, blood. Okay. okay. Is this blood? It's a little worn, but definitely a handprint here. It looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright. What if there are other blood scenes left in the room? Oh great, I gotta spray everything with luminol. We should use her testing fluid to check it out. I will do that after I click on all the things. What about this? What's the salt and paint doing here? Since the dawn... Oh, you're going to see something dumb, aren't you? Oh, it's okay. I know I should be reading this, but really, it's what he's saying important. 
Yeah, he says this is his art studio. Here, in the evidence room? Yeah, like seriously, in the evidence room, bro? Nope, this glove looks important. That's just hanging there. Someone left a glove here, but only one. Detective Gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of absent-minded detective. The shoe fits, man. The gum shoe fits. That's evidence from the case, you know. You mean the SL9? It has a tag on it. Rubber glove. Tagged evidence from the SL9 incident. Extremely thin rubber glove. Well, that's open. Are the lights supposed to be red or what color are they supposed to light up as? Look, this one's open and the red indicator light above the door is lit. That locker is coated with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker. Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we close it. It's empty. They must have taken the contents elsewhere. Wow, someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? There you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of hooligan. No, we're saying you're clumsy. There's a difference. I mean, you could be a clumsy hooligan. I'm just saying in this case, we're simply saying you're clumsy. That's apparently from the case. The case. The SL9 incident, pal. See the sticker on the piece there? The other piece of SL9 is... Oh. Okay. We'll take a closer look. I wonder what shape those pieces are in before whatever it was broken. You want to try to put it back together? Ha! Huh, good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Why well, I spent a good three hours in on that before I had to give up. And that's why I always carry around a tub a, a tube of glue. Super glue? They don't make super glue like they used to. This piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. Oh no, I'm terrible at puzzles. In real life, I'm great at puzzles. In games though, terrible at puzzles like this. Like that? Okay. Um, no fun. Okay. Well, well, this is going smoother than I thought it would. Oh. All right. Nice. No. I think I had to... I think I got lucky before. Okay. Here we go. Um.
There we go. Alright, um... You have a roundy bit. I feel like you might fit here somewhere. I was doing so good. And now I'm stuck. Alright, well. There we go. Okay. Alright. Cool. Well, there's a giant hole in it. So, uh. Well, that didn't take three hours. Cool. Huh? Huh? Well, I think we did it. But some of these pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that far too in two minutes myself. The problem is finishing it. Were some pieces stolen? But they were missing to begin with. Still. Is it mayhaps part of a trophy with a shield? It doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I kind of understand how it got broken. Unstable jar. Jar pieced back together from fragments found at the crime scene. A piece is missing. Okay. Got to get the luminol. I pushed the wrong button. Luminol. I guess I didn't push the wrong button. Zoom in, zoom out. Got to present the luminol. I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay, why? So dramatic. I knew it. This is someone's right hand print. What? What's the matter, detective? This locker is mine. It's yours. Please. You have to help me. When they come to take me away. Hee <laughs> haha. Promise you'll testify that I wouldn't harm a fly. You'll do that for me. Won't you, pal? This is an important clue. I'll jot down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. What? But you're a detective. Well, police seems super shady.
That must be one massive pool of blood. Never seen anything like it. I hope a professional... I'm, I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe Detective Goodman was actually an alien. This proves that something really happened in front of the locker. I'll make a note of it on the four plans. Hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. Well, if you shouldn't have given the stupid answer. Honestly, is there other stuff actually? I like to spray. Do I need to spray the whole room? Like it doesn't hurt, right? getting a reaction here. There's no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he put out the door. This just might be something significant. Hey, that's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What, you don't have luminol? What, this? It's called luminal testing fluid. Where'd you get your hands on that? Huh? I'd like to get some too. I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where do you get this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. Well, I'd better... Jot this down on the floor plans. Hey, pal. Look at the time. Was there something you needed to be going to? It's just that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry com committee should be letting out now soon. I'm going to go give him my report for the day. It might help, you know. Report? You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he can use a report like this. I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you've got a friend like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off pal later. I should probably see what Edgeworth has to say too. Okay game, I get it. Let's go to see what Edgeworth has to say. Well, I've actually found out some stuff this time, you know? That's pretty cool. I have certainly more stuff than the last times I've been playing like an hour with no real progress. the way I have to move in this game. February 23rd, High Prosecutor's Office Room 1202. Uh, what? Hi. Ah, I guess. My apologies. Oh, it's you. Have you met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, beg your... I beg your... Leave so... I beg your leave so long? 
That's, that's an odd thing to say. Is that worth here? There, standing by the window. A teacup in his hand. Oh no, he looks so forlorn. Right. He has a note. Bring him... He has a hotel. Bring him tea service. Mr. Edgeworth. You're back from district prosecutor's office inquiry? I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Oh, I'm missing, I'm messing up the one voice I decided to do and I'm messing it up. Ah, uh, yes. <clears throat> uh, yes. He brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently, a new French restaurant is opening. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Um, the real info is on the other side, Edgeworth. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. Edgeworth needs a vacation. We just need to go out to, I don't know, Sands? Is that a place still thing that people do? Some sort of couples retreat. That's what we need to do. We just need to go there. Well, we will end the episode here. We're like, we got evidence. And that's cool. Um, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll get to the actual trial bit in the next episode. Hopefully. Hopeful, maybe. Please. <laughs> Until then, see you next time.